Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 21 December. It's a Wednesday here. Um, we talked about Canadian CPI yesterday. It's actually today. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting. But let's first talk about yesterday and how the day ended. Dollar yen got pretty wild. Dollar yen got down to 130.60. We scooped up some Aussie yen at 87.50. We're going to keep this Aussie yen. Um, looking for a move back to 90, uh, 90 yen. If equities float up, uh, this could have some legs. And if dollar yen regains its senses, this could also have some legs. Um, but very, very wild day. Uh, had left hand side at the fix, and then we dropped another 100 points. So the low at the fix was 40, 131.40. And then we got down to 131 the figure, and then it was like bang, 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 60 given figure bid. It felt very capitulatory, especially the timing of it. And then uh, when the land of the rising sun woke up, uh, they held the bid, and here we are. Um, dollar yen 132 handle, Aussie yen on the 88 handle. So let's see how that goes. Looking forward today, let's take a look at the stock market here. Um, kind of a turny bar yesterday, right? We were looking pretty, pretty languid down at 3,800, but yet closed. Um, up near 38.45 now or 38.68 this looks pretty floaty uh, and when when equities are looking floaty what do we do here usually we try and buy some Aussie um, or long some Aussie Swiss and short some Euro Aussie um, just from near these levels we sold the Euro Aussie at 19 Aussie Swiss was 91 where is that now 95 not doing too much but this is just sort of an equity risk on type trade. Um, quiet, quiet docket in the morning here. Don't really have much to speak of. German consumer climate. Nobody cares. UK borrowing. Public sector net borrowing. I care about that just because I like finance. I'll see what that does, but it's not going to move sterling. The real peach um, is 2.30. We're going to have this um, Canadian CPI. Cad Yen on its knees. Let's see what Cad Swiss is doing. Ooh, look at that doji yesterday. Bang. Wow. Cad Swiss, what a... What a crappy little cross. Um, what was the high yesterday? 68.23, we're right there. This one looks like she wants to turn. So this is CAD Swiss higher, is dollar Swiss higher, uh, dollar CAD lower. I think, uh, and don't quote me on this, this is the most owned uh, retail position so it's not it's not something that we that's not usually a great indicator but I think um, the retail crowd is long dollar Swiss and short dollar CAD just in general uh, so be careful with this but that looks um, that looks quite interesting dollar CAD itself uh, on a weak one there's gonna be loads of risk above 137 uh, on a strong one you know, the neckline here is 135.20. It's going to move. It's a big number. Um, you could argue that it's probably going to come in weak, right? All of the CPIs have been turning a little bit left. But let's just see where we are. Dollar CAD uh, at the number and play it by ear. Rates 370 inching up. These are three big green days now we've cleared this sort of 364 area back to the 34 day there's resistance at 390 but we could head up to 390 quite quickly right um, and let's see how we the world looks at this certainly with the Bank of Japan quasi tightening 
um, the idea that the U.S. is going to pivot or the idea that uh, anyone's going to slow this rate game down, certainly in the first half of next year, is seemingly coming off the table. So let's just see. Um, for those of you who are a bit brave, more brave, um, you should be short BTPs, right? This is the yield, so as the yield goes up, the bonds go down. Um, this thing's going to 5. Uh, 488 or 490 has been the high. We're going to break those highs, and there's going to be some squawking. Um, I think going into the new year, one of the themes is going to be, you know, the pigs. The pigs are back. Um, it's fucking cold. The price of energy is high, and the debt burden in Italy uh, is going to be a problem, as is. Spain less so, Portugal, um, problem, but Italy's the real problem, mainly because they've just been lying about this uh, for 20 years, and so, you know, it's it's one of the elephants in the room always with Europe, What what's going to happen when you look under the hood at the engine in Italy, um, anyway, keep an eye on this, short BTPs as a medium term position, looks um, looks the way forward. Anyway, today uh, we're playing around in the Aussie game here. We're short some Euro Aussie, long some Aussie Swiss. Oh yeah, we're going to be watching this in Euro. Uh, we were watching it yesterday, never really triggered, but down below 105, uh, we're going to call it 76 is the bingo line. Uh, I could see some action, right? And just buying dollar Swiss on the low ones for tiny little profits is so boring, but it has been working. Um, if you want to just be a little pip muncher, uh, you know, buy 65, sell 80s, buy 72s, sell 88s, um, blah, 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 but pretty boring uh, compared to what's going on elsewhere. All right, that's all I got. Uh, Aussie the focus today, and we're going to keep an eye on stocks. Obviously, if stocks start cratering left, this changes uh, our notion. But um, there we are. That's what we got. And then CPI in Canada. We'll have to relook at this at lunchtime. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it.